Although God has called each of us to make an important difference in the world, we can miss completing his mission for a number of reasons. Our daily routine can make us passive and bored. We often forget about the spiritual battle around us and our need to sharpen ourselves. What skills must we exhibit to change this negative slide? One, we need the skill of purity. There are so many parts of life that can keep you and I stuck. We're often tempted to involve ourselves with something we think we can control until we realize it's way too late. Two, we need the skill of conscientiousness. We need to follow up on the details of what we truly believe. Real men act on what they say. Three, we need the skill of courage. There will always be obstacles between us and every positive choice that we make. Instead of simply thinking about changing ourselves, we must recognize and overcome what distracts us. Four, we need the skill of focus. Other tasks can seem easier than what God calls us to do presently. We must keep our gaze on Jesus, ask him to empower us, and look for the next step toward victory. These are just four skills of a knight. Think about some other capabilities that come to your mind that you should have. There's one skill that I wonder how many of you thought about it. I know I didn't at first. We see Mary living this out in Luke 1, 48 to 52, as she considered the honor God was giving her of being Jesus' mother. She says, He has taken note of me, even though I am not considered important. He has scattered those who are proud in their deepest thoughts, but he has lifted up people who are not considered important. Now, what often keeps us from being as spiritually powerful as God wants is that we forget our lack of importance. As Mary puts it, what stops us from being God's best is pride. Our pride limits the purity, the conscientiousness, the courage, and the focus that you and I need. It makes us focus on what we want our life to go like instead of God's plan for us. Now, for most of us at our age, pride doesn't mean walking around and saying, I'm cool. But now we have the social skills to hide that level of self-centeredness. Pride often comes out in less obvious ways because it's easy for us not to see the ways our pride affects us. It's hard to turn this issue over to God. Pride exists when we list reasons we can't do something instead of relying on God's empowerment. Pride shows up in our tendency to follow the status quo instead of treating others with love. Pride lets us sit around being passive instead of reaching out as a mentor to a young boy in our life. Pride encourages us to watch TV when our family needs us. Pride keeps us quiet when someone needs to hear about Jesus. Pride keeps us stuck. Our ability to be successful knights who follow King Jesus centers on the idea that we're just not that important. When we accept this fact of life, the only reasonable option is to open up our arms in willing submission and pray, God, I'm not that important, so please use me.